Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Figure Review. I'm your host, Umbrella Rocks, and today we will be looking at the MS06FZ Zaku Tukai. Ooh. Now, this is a uh, late war Zaku from uh, Gundam 0080 War in the Pocket, and uh, it boosts a couple improvements over the regular Zaku. One, it has an upgraded cockpit, and also it has uh, twice the thruster capacity, but because of that, it only has half the operational time. But what I really want to know, what I really need to know, is that if Char had a Zaku Tukai, would it go six times as fast? That's what I really want to know. But enough about that. Let's look at the box. So here we have the uh, cover art. It's the Zaku Tukai. Uh, it, it's missing an arm from the last episode of uh, 0080. And uh, let's see, number 237. Very nice. So let's look at the side. We have a picture of all the stuff it comes with. The two heads. It's an officer uh, crest and the Fritz Helm, which is only in one scene of the anime. Uh, the three boosters. You can recreate the scene if you have the Gundam Alex. And then it's just some action poses right there with a, with a effect, a gun effect right there. So that's on the side. Let's look at the back. We have a picture from uh, when the, it gets up, uh, when they repair it, and little Al supposed to be in the hand right there. Let's see. Uh, really cool, really cool effect is that you can actually take the magazine out of the the 90 millimeter machine gun. You can make a little pose like that of him reloading. There's the back, and then right here it's showing off the uh, chest and arm movement. Very good, very good, very cool. And let's see. We have the. Uh, the side box art, which is what I'm going to be seeing the most, because like I said in my last video, I like to stack them like this, you know, going in a row. So this is what you'll see the most. You have a picture of the mobile suit, the uh, the number, and then the uh, model number of the mobile suit. Very nice. And here's the top. Oh, yes, the top and the bottom. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool, too. All right, well, enough about the box. Let's open this bad boy up. And I'm going to do it from this side, I think. Yeah, so we'll do it from this side. Oh, Umbrella, be gentle. Oh, don't bend the cardboard. You bent it, you fool! Oh, I did bend it. Fuck. Okay. So let's take out... Let's be gentle, Umbrella. It's its first time. It really is. I've never opened this before. Oh, look at that! It's the crest from the, from the anime. That's cool. They added that onto the box art. Yeah, very cool. All right, box, I've had enough of you. Bye-bye. Actually, no, you're not going on the ground. I'm going to tuck you back in here. Get in there. Oh, wow, I won't go in. Get in there. Okay, you're going to be in the back. You're going to be you're gonna be looking pretty in the back. Okay, so let's see. We got our mobile suit here, and we can see everything. We have two heat hawks. Oh, the hands fell out. Okay, well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six hands. And looks like a destroyed uh, piece. We have some effect parts. We have the machine gun. I think that's a grenade. And we have the two heads. So let's open this up. Be very gentle. Sometimes parts come loose in there. That's just how it goes. But as long as you put them back carefully and tightly, it should be fine. Okay. So let's get rid now let's really get rid of that. We don't need that. Okay. So we got some uh, a destroyed part there. We got hands. I'll put these all back in the right order when I when I get the time. When I get the time and I get the care, I'll put them back. Yeah, they're all over the place. Okay. So let's see. Let me recount them real quick. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and uh, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten hands in total, but enough of that. Let's let's. Let's go down the line and look at all this cool shit. But first, let's take out the mobile suit. Ooh, there you go. That's what you're really paying for. This is what you really want. Ooh, yes. Let's see. A little Xeon crest there. Got the three thrusters on the back. They are adjustable. Let's see. Very nice. I really like the colors. Looks like just out of the anime. Uh, let's see. Check out the leg movement. Pretty good, pretty good. It goes all the way, it'll go all the way till it hits the skirt armor. The tubes bend. They're actually, yeah, they're kind of flexible plastic. Let's see, let's check out the arms. Let's move it. And uh, let's see how far up will it go. Pretty good. 
Even the little wrist move. Very nice, very nice. I've, it's got little grenades there, but they don't... No, I, I'm, pu I'm pulling them, but I don't think they come out. Oh, it moves up and down, though. Yeah, the grenades don't come off. That's okay. I think it would have been cool if they would have come with a grenade, uh, like a little grenade in here that you could have thrown. So that's the mobile suit. Let's put you down here. Very nice. Okay, so let's see. First off, let's start at the top and move our way down. We have a un... Activated Heat Hawk. As you can see, it's slightly smaller and the blade's not on. So there we go. We have our unactivated Heat Hawk. Then we have. Oh, excuse me. Ooh, there's a little mono eye. So you can change it out and he looks like he's looking to the side because there's the front. Very cool. I'll put that back. It goes up here. Okay, so the unactivated Heat Hawk goes back in. So let's take out the activated Heat Hawk. As you can see, it's much longer than the unactivated one because these little, uh, the fronts and the backs extend out of the base, out of the grip, excuse me. They uh, extend out, makes it longer. It's still longer than normal, but I think it looks cool. And as you can see, the blade is now activated. It's yellow. Oh, so nice. Very flashy. And then here is the destroyed part. There's a peg there. And I'm pretty sure if you pop the arm off, this pegs right in. Because, uh, as you can see in the box art there, in the anime, his uh, left arm falls off. Okay, let me put that back in the plastic. Okay, let me see. Then we have a open hand, a shooting hand, a closed hand, and then an open hand like that. Okay. And then here we go. And then we have the hand holder. Yes, it is a literal hand holder. You put the hands on these little pegs so you can uh, have them stored. I'll just leave all my stuff in the box myself. There's little pegs here so you can stack them. I will never use this. Okay, then we have effect parts. So, uh, oh, okay, this is when the beam saber goes through him, and I guess it attaches on the back. Spoiler, Bernie gets killed in the last episode. He gets a beam saber through the chest, and this bad boy explodes. Uh, though the anime came out like 30 years ago, so it's not that much of a spoiler. And plus, if you're a Gundam fan, you should have watched it by now. It's only six episodes. We have another effect part, and then we have the... Let's see. We have the thruster effect part. Yeah, poor Bernie eats it. He gets a beam to saber through the cockpit. Nothing left, sir, but a pile of steamed hams. Let's see. You just stick the pegs into the thruster, and there you go. You have a thruster effect. Now, these are... Now, I mean, on all your pegs, they're always going to be thin... But uh, that's really thin. It's almost like the uh, head of the mechanical pencils. They're re it's very small. Um, yeah, I'm afraid I'm going to break that. He's afraid he's going to break it, boys and girls. And then put that there. Okay. Now let me see what else is in here. There was a crest, but I seem to have dislodged it. It's somewhere in here. I'll see if I can find it. Let's look at the heads next. So, oh god, I'm, I gotta be real gentle with this thing. I'm afraid I'm gonna break it. There we go. Okay. So this is the officer's helmet, the head. You put it. You put this on there. Um, let me see. You see the crest? It's really thin, and it's really long, and I'm afraid I'm gonna break that. That's why they included a replacement one in here, but I seem to have mislodged it when I opened up the packaging. It should be in this little um, should be in this little spot right there. Yeah, I don't know where it went. It's it's in here somewhere. I'll, I'll find it when I actually look at everything. It's really small. Yeah, I don't see it in there. Okay, I'll find it later. I will find it later. Okay, so actually, I'm going to leave this out. So this is the commander helmet. And then here is the Fritz helm. And as you can see, there's the standard round head. And then here's the Fritz helm, where it has more armor. And that's only in one scene of the anime. It's one scene on the second episode, I think, where they're shooting. But I think that's really cool they added that. Uh in the figure because I think it's really cool and I think you does this part pop off 
I think it does. Yep, there it is. It pops off. And then you put the commander head on, and there you go. You have the commander head now, which is also in only one scene. But you got to be careful because that crest is real. That commander crest is really long and it's really thin. But that's how it was designed in the anime. So they were just being um, true to themselves. Oh, and yeah, and then you can use that eyepiece and swap it out. Cool, very cool. I like it. Very nice. In case we have our two helmets there. And let's pull this bad boy out. We have a 90 millimeter. Uh, I think it's an MP90. I think that's the model number. And it comes with a grenade launcher. It's, uh, I think it detaches. Yes, there you go. Pops out. So that's the standard one you see. But it also comes with a grenade launcher attachment. Just pops on like that. And then, like I said earlier in the review, magazine pops out. And I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It's super small, but you can actually see the little bullets. Or, or yeah, yeah, you can see the little bullets. Pretty cool. That would have been nice if they came with two of these, because then you could have uh, attach it on there somewhere. So that's all. Let's see. Get out of here, fly. Okay, so we got our Zaku machine gun. And what is this? Oh, th they listened to me. It's a hand grenade. One of these. They actually included one. Cool. It was a hand grenade as well. Very nice, very nice. Little fly, get out of here. <laughs> He's like, I just want to see the Zaku. No, you don't get to see the Zaku. Okay. So, yeah, so that's everything. And uh, let's actually... I actually want to modify it real quick. We're going to take off the regular hand. And where's the shooting hand? I want the right one. Here it is. So we're going to put the right hand on. Actually, these hands pop in and out very easily. I say that as I can't pop it in. <laughs> I was just joking, but no, I really can't pop it in now. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on, bad boy. Get in there. I had this problem with the Alex, and now I'm having it with the Zaku Tukai. Let's try it with my right hand, because, you know, I'm right-handed. There's the peg. Aren't you, aren't you so glad you clicked on my channel? But, okay. Wow, it's not going in. Come on, get in there. Okay, there we go. I got it in. Okay. Now, the thing is, though, is when the shooting hand's in, it doesn't move up or down. I guess because of how it's angled with the other uh, wrist, I can move it up and down. And that is a tight fit, but it fits perfectly. So we have our Zaku with his machine gun. Very nice. And actually, let's pop the head off. I know the head pops off. Oh, cool. The neck, the neck extends up and down. Look at that. It actually comes out of the chest. That part there actually comes out of the chest. Very cool. Ooh, uh, that made a loud snap that I didn't like. I want the Fritz Helm helmet on. Uh, more armor. Much better. There we go. So we have our Zaku 2 with the Fritz Helm. And I think the Heat Hawk attaches on the side here. Yep, there's a peg. Put it in there. Okay, it, it okay, it has to go exactly right because it's a square peg. Sorry about this. I can't see actually. Will it go like this? No, it has to be like this. That's kind of weird, but whatever. There we go. Okay, so the square peg, it only allows you to put the heat hawk in like that or facing completely down the other way and I think it's supposed to be like that but let, let me see how it looks the other direction yeah, that's in there tight now that's the only thing I don't like about uh, pegs is if they're real tight <laughs> it's hard to get them out and you're afraid you're gonna break something yeah I don't want to put all the strain on the oh god I hated doing that yeah I don't want to put all the strain on the actual yeah so you can you can all you can either have it like that or like this, and you can only have, oops, sorry, I hit, hit my stand. I'm gonna put it like that just because I think it looks better. Sweet, sweet, all right, guys. Uh, that's about it, I, that, that's the Zaku 2 Kai. I really like it a lot. I'm glad I bought it, and uh, somewhere in this um, plastic casing, 
I lost the replacement crest, but it's in here somewhere. It just got shook and loose. It's it, it's in there. I just gotta I just gotta move some hands around and find it. But uh, here it is, in all of its glory. I really like that. It, I really like that it included the uh, Fritz Helm helmet. I think it's very cool. Actually, can I move the mono eye around? You could with the Gelgoog. No, sadly, it's stationary. Okay. Yeah, you can't move the eye. Well, you know, let's just pop. You know what? You've already been here for 15 minutes. I might as well show you everything. Um, let me see. Where is the other eye? I thought I put it in the thing, but I guess not. Let me see. Is it here? Yeah, where are all my parts going? I keep losing stuff. Not on the ground, is it? Nope. Oh, there's the crest. I found it. It went all the way to... Look at that. It went all the way to the freaking bottom. There's a little crest. So they give you a replacement crest in case you break that one, which is very cool and... Very cool? What am I, a fucking autist? No, it's very handy because these these little thin pieces break very easily and it's good that they give you a replacement piece. I seem to have lost the other eye. It's here somewhere. I just don't know where I put it. So, oh well, that's just how it goes. All right, but that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I really like my Zaku 2 Kai with the Fritz Helm attached, the helmet, and the 90mm machine gun. Ooh, this, what a sexy figure. All right, thank y'all for watching. Until next time, bye bye Ooh, give me the Zaku 2 Kai, boss. Mmm, give me the Fritz Helm, boss.